Everyone, welcome back to Gaming Addicts with Genghis. Legends of Mushrooms. Want to talk about fruit offerings. This is a couple videos now where I've talked about it. And this is a different thing I want to touch on with it. Of just how important it is and how it grows on top of each other exponentially. And really, really pushes you further into the game. So don't neglect this. If we go into my farm here, you can see I'm crop stealing right now. And I'm going to crop steal all these ones at the bottom that I can next. Why? Because... It will give me more fruit offerings for my statue and i want to level up my statue i want to level up my statue obviously so i get better percentages and higher rolls also open up a new set basically for new buffs pvp buffs right so this is a nice way you can grind but here's the thing the more crops you have the more points you get so right here i'm level 11 up here in the top left corner you can see it uh flashing there as i touch it i'm almost at level 12. I want to get to level 18 because I want to unlock this bottom left fruit offering garden. And then I want to get to 25 and then I want to get to 35. The quicker I unlock those, the faster I can go through all my seeds. If you look at my seeds, they're taking me forever. I can't, I'm just piling them up. I can't even keep up with how many I have. But the fat, the more seeds you have, the more fruit offerings you can have. And then the more buffs you can get from your statue. And this is something you can really just grind. So I'm doing these all the time. And I, every, you get free fertilizer every day. And you get free seeds every day. So you want to make sure to use all... I, I get eight. Some people get six or seven. Some get nine or ten. You want to use all of your basic seeds every day. Because those ones, like you get them, right? When I get it to zero at server reset, I get eight more. And if, I'm at, if I have six left... I, fit, I get eight, right? They give me two more and top it up at eight. I don't get more. So there's no reason to keep any. And then that lets you save these medium and uh, premium seeds. The way you get more is by increasing these buildings. And you get building points whenever you increase your level. So don't neglect this. Don't think it's silly. Grow as much fruit as you can so you could get as much points as you can and put it towards the statue. And think ahead, guys. It's obvious that they have events in this game, like the tech event that's going on right now, the rush tech event. So don't do any fruit offerings until the next fruit rush event. Save them up and... Tech's kind of a hard one. You kind of just have to keep doing tech all the time, but maybe use speeds during the tech event. Make sure you have ore on hand. But uh, all the other events, there's rumors that there's a PAL and skill book event coming up. Save them. I've stopped. I'm not going to be searching for them anymore. So this, I'm not, I'm not flipping them anymore. I'm going to save them up and wait for an event and try to do really well in that event. Obviously, I will look for some if it's a daily event to complete that task, but that's it. Anyways, let me know if you guys have been taking advantage of the fruit offerings like this, and if you have a plan, a goal. It's actually like one of my major short, like medium-term goals in the game. I'm just working on that short-term all the time, but it's kind of something that will take medium term. It's going to take me about a month to unlock a couple more levels there. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.